Hello everybody, it's Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. So I have some silver in here today. I'm gonna unbox it for you right now. All right, everyone, here we go. I had to get myself one of these. Now I bought five of these, uh, what's it been? Maybe like a month back. And so you're probably asking me why did I buy five more? Well, I ended up selling these to Apmex, made a hundred dollar profit and uh, cashed out. And then I figured, you know what? I can use that hundred dollars to buy myself one personally. Well, soon after that happened, this thing sold out at the US Mint. So I was pretty, sad by that i was thinking well what am i going to do now and i wasn't about to pay another 50 60 dollars from all these uh you know different sellers trying to sell one of these after so i waited and thank goodness i did wait because look what i got and i got it from the u.s mint they came out with some more people must have canceled their orders whatever the case may be i was able to get some after the fact so very expensive. I'm going to start off by saying that people are going to say like, what were you doing? It's so expensive. I would never buy that, etc." Then, you know, that's cool. I don't blame you for it one, one bit if you don't want to buy it. I seen these and I fell in love, man. I just really, 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 really fell in love with the look of these things and the whole presentation, everything. So now I'm going to read it to you because some people like to just listen to it and not actually see the video. Uh, this is from the United States Mint, the 2019 Pride of Two Nations, limited edition, two-coin set, and also the Royal Canadian Mint are in on it. So they're in cahoots, these two. So anyways, here we go. We're going to do it, the whole thing, together. We're going to open it as a team. All right, United States Mint, 2019, Pride of Two Nations, limited edition, two-coin set. Beautiful American flag, beautiful Canadian flag, Pride of Two Nations. All right, so I want to get right into it. Um, I know the particulars. If you want to go ahead and pause this at any moment, you can and check this out and read this on your own. I won't, uh, won't be mad at you for it, but I'm not going to bore everybody with all the details here. I will go back later and read these for myself because you know what? That's part about being a collector is, is getting to enjoy the entire package. So kind of interesting. The, um, the 2019 American Eagle in this right here is a $1.00. Uh, denomination whereas the Canadian is five dollars in Canadian so kind of neat that they you know they have a really a, a higher price coin I wish that we did that but you know it is a silver eagle so they're not going to change it too much for this right here they'll make the design a little tiny a uh, little tiny bit different but they're not going to actually change uh, the denomination or anything on it anyway so that's all French let's get back into the opening boop, boop, boop. So, looking at it right here, I see that there is some wear to the box. I wonder if that is just... Nope, it's dirt. Never mind. We're good. I was like, okay, is that wear? No, it's not. It's it's literally just like a little bit of, uh, I don't know, schmutz. But the schmutz is gone. <gasps> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Whoa. I don't know why, but I want to wear gloves. Be right back. All right, gloves are on, and I also got, for reference... A uh, American Silver Eagle and a Canadian Maple Leaf. So I wish I could have got the 2019 versions of both. Um, I think that, I don't know, somebody's skimming some stuff off the top of my collection here. I can't seem to find it. Or I probably just misplaced it, which is most likely what's really going on. So I want to get lots of zoom here. Why am I wearing gloves? Man, I don't really, I don't really know. I know they're in capsules. I don't want a lot of fingerprints on the capsules themselves because I really just want to enjoy you know, the whole, whole package. Wow. I don't know why, but it feels, it does feel heavier for some reason than this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the capsule. The capsule does look totally different, but, um, man, this is really cool. And I'm going to have to really enjoy this after I get done showing everybody. Cause this is something that just, I just couldn't, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It's so weird. I know I, I totally get it. Right. It's not much different than a regular American silver Eagle. But the fact that the it is different, I guess, and the way the that you know enhanced proof and oh man, I don't know, it's just really really cool. So um, the back is kind of neat. 
I don't know. They have some stuff on the inside of the capsule. That's kind of weird. So it looks like it was maybe taken out or maybe when they put it in there, it just had some stuff. So I need to remove it. Cause see how it has those like little pieces right there. I got to get those out of there. That's going to drive me crazy. Let me go ahead and do that. For fun, if you want to go on a journey with me, because a lot of people don't get to see how to open up air tights and the such. Um, if you have a razor blade and you find the edge and then you just pry it up just a little around the edge and be careful too, because you know, it is a razor blade, but that'll definitely help get it open. So we're, we're slowly prying it and now it's already open. Oh, wait, you probably want to see that on, on camera, don't you? So now I want to be careful because what's going to happen if I pry it too quickly is it's just going to pop right out. So I'm not trying to get it to pop out. I just want to open it up and get that, those like little, almost like hairs out of there. Okay, we're doing it. You hear it? You hear it crying? It's like, uh, I was in there, dude. And that was probably some worker at the Mint decided just to pop it in there and wasn't thinking too well. Um, the Mint's funny, you know what I mean? They they just kind of throw them in there. And uh, if you see the packaging, it's it's the, like the, one of the worst packagings for security you could ever possibly imagine, but it's all right. So yeah, so it's coming right off. Ooh, see it? No big deal, but I don't want it in there. I just don't like it. Now that it's out of there though, we should look at it outside of it. Look at that, it's so beautiful. You can see me. Can you see me right there in the little little part of the eagle? Oh, wow. It's I look funny though, I look like an alien. Anyways, so now you know I'm a white guy. In case you were ever curious, I'm definitely a white dude. Wow, that's pretty. That is pretty. I'm being careful, man. I don't wanna like talk and like spit on it or anything crazy. Yes, that is phenomenal, right? It's just little differences like that. I mean, that's what keeps us interested in the hobby, isn't it? Wow, that's so, so pretty. So let me get that back in there like it's supposed to. I think it's, I think it was this way. Either way, it's gonna go in there. No problems. Okay. And we're gonna make it go back to its home. Go back to your home, little American Silver Eagle. All right, cool. That would give me a headache, having to see those little those little hairs or whatever they were on there, um, and never doing that. I would, whew, I, I can't do that. So now it looks much better, right? Way better. And I didn't hurt it or anything like that. I didn't, you know, tear it up. Nothing happened bad to it. It's in the same condition. So that is a pretty coin. I don't know if you can all really enjoy that, like I'm enjoying it. That is spectacular. So happy I got that. So so happy. <laughs> so you missed it. I was actually looking at the the uh, other maple leaf that I got out and I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, it doesn't look much different to me. But no, I uh, looking at the wrong one. My bad. Now I've opened this one up. Hold on. Let me show you what's happening. So I'm taking this out. Um, notoriously, when you take these um, or try to get these out from the mint packaging, it is difficult. I actually just pried the airtight um, open from that coin. So since it's already open, let's go ahead and continue on with that trend of showing it to you with it out of the airtight and I want to get it out of there without trying to ruin it. Ooh, okay. Whew. So here we go. We're going to take it out and we're going to take it to the limit. Guys, girls, kids, anybody who's watching, this is a phenomenal piece. Yes, it is super expensive. I think it cost me $139 for these two coins but they are phenomenal. Okay, there's a little bit of uh, schmutz on there. I'm gonna try to get that off since we're here. Okay, perfect, yeah, it's coming right off. Yep, oh, look at that, perfect. Beautiful, look at the fan. You can see my fan just getting into that that coin and the reflectivity just uh, bouncing it off. It is beautiful. Can you enjoy the tiny maple leaves and the stars that go around the coin right there? Look at that, that's just really neat. One thing I got to give it to the Canadian Mint is that their anti-counterfeit measures and their, you know, intricate lines and their details are just, it's just awesome. I mean, it's, it's above average. To me, it's above our coin for sure. It's way above our American Silver Eagle as far as anti-counterfeit measures. Look at that. Four nines fine, everybody. This is a beautiful, beautiful maple leaf right here. 
I mean, the, oh, golly. Can you not enjoy this coin? I mean, for real. Do you see it and go, like, I don't get it? Um, I'm just curious. Leave me a comment. Leave me a comment. Just, just let me know. I'm not mad at you. I just, I want to know if I'm the only crazy one out there that sees this and just thinks it's just the, the coolest thing since sliced bread. It is beautiful. Man, I was losing sleep. I'll be honest with you. I was losing a little sleep because I missed this thing. Like I said, I had bought five, sold them to Atmex, got my hundred dollars, was hoping to come back later and buy more or buy at least one and uh, man, sold out. So I couldn't do it. Oh, so happy they put them back out. So, so happy. Um, I let everybody know that they came back out. A couple people took my advice and, and grabbed one because they had been wanting to get one too. So, so now we've all got them. It's beautiful, everybody. Silver is silver, but you know what? Collector pieces are collector pieces. And to me, it's just, it's just absolutely beautiful. So here we go. Here's an example of a, this is a 2018 um, maple leaf. So you can see the differences already. You can see how the, the edge is way different. I'm just going to shut up because you can totally see it. You can see it on your own, right? You don't need me. And we'll look at the back real quick. Do do. So there you go. Very, very cool look, ladies and gentlemen. Very neat. Very happy. I mean, to me, the maple leaves are already a pretty coin. You know, iconic, everything. But this right here is definitely neat. Now, I will say that I think I enjoy this coin the best. So here we go. This is a 2015 American Silver Eagle versus this one right here. So here we go. You can see the difference. Can you tell? And what I'll also do is I'll get a proof uh, 2019 Silver Eagle so you can really see the difference between, you know, the enhanced proof versus a regular proof. So you see that? Look at that. Look how, look at the differences just in the regular bullion version. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like a kid with this stuff, I swear. I am like a child. So, okay, cool. West Point men on this, too. Just notice that. Sweet, right? Okay, let me go get um, a regular 2019 proof and show you the difference between those. So here we go. We got little schmutz on the uh, on the plastic. And that's why I like to like not... Um, touch the plastic because look at all the plastic little stuff because I, you know, I put my fingers on there and didn't touch them with gloves. Now I got little, you know, smudges on the plastic. So if I just go ahead and just wear the gloves the entire time. I don't got to look at smudges. Anyways, so that's my smudge story. So there's a regular proof. So you can see the fields are, are different on this uh, enhanced proof right here compared to just a regular proof where the mirror is all around the outside and the frosting right here. So in the back, real quick, just for reference purposes, there you go. Very, very neat, everybody. Very happy to have it. 110,000 minted, and I have one of those 110,000. So very cool. Very, very cool. And they're going to go back to their little homes. I wish there was like a stand or something like that I could just like keep them up on, because they are, they are cool like that. So, listen... I know they're expensive. I had to have it. Um, sometimes you have to have things like that. Like for instance, this you know 2019 proof eagle. Uh, they're very expensive. You know they're like $55 for uh, a proof eagle. So I had to have that. Uh, sometimes there's things in the hobby that uh, it goes beyond collecting it for you know bullion. Um, you know investing in the future and and storing your wealth. It goes beyond that. You start getting into the collecting stuff. And here I am into the collecting stuff. So anyways, at this point, let me go. I want to go look at these some more just by myself. You know, no offense, but I want to, I want to spend a little time with the ladies. You know what I mean? So at this point, I got to go. Spectacular and the ladies are out.